This is a brief follow-up video uh, to getting help, and it's about finding answers. The reason why there are two videos about this is because it's such a critical skill in data science. So you can see one of the three fundamental sort of skills you uh, see in the Venn diagram here is hacking skills. And the reason why that it's one of the three fundamental skills is because almost none of the knowledge that uh, you will need is already sort of set in standardized textbooks. It's uh, often scattered in a, a bunch of different places and you have to be able to sort of synthesize it or find the information that you need about whether it's about which data set you need to be using or the statistical analysis you need to be doing or the R package that you need to be using. All of this is sort of scattered around and you have to be willing to do a little bit of hard work and elbow grease to find it yourself. Obviously we'll tell you as much as we can in lectures but we're necessarily limited by the amount of time that we can lecture every week and so it's important to be able to find that information yourself. So key, some key characteristics of hackers are that they're willing to go out and find the answers on their own, even if it takes a little bit of time or a little bit of effort. Um, they're knowledgeable about where to find those answers, whether it's Google or Stack Overflow or cross-validated or in the message uh, history of a mailing list. Um, they're unintimidated by new data types or packages. Uh, it's very common as a data scientist to be thrown a new kind of data or a new kind of uh, R package that you need to learn very quickly to be able to analyze some data. So being unintimidated by that is important. And then being unafraid to say that you don't know the answer to a question. And so uh, a, a key characteristic I would say, the way to summarize it up is being polite but re relentless. You're going after the answer and you're just trying to find it, uh, but you're very polite while doing it. And so Google knows this too in their hiring practices. They're looking for these sort of characteristics, the kind of people that um, or we'll go after these sorts of things as it's uh, described in this article I've linked to here. So an important uh, question is where to look for, for uh, different types of questions. So for our programming, you uh, might want to go uh, straight to the archive of the class forums where the class you're taking will focus on very specific uh, questions or functions. There'll be a large group of interested people. You could read the manual or help files like I showed you in the getting help lecture. You can search on the web. That's actually one of the best ways to do it. Um, you can ask a skilled friend. Uh, that's even better if you've got a person that you know that already is a bit of a data scientist. They can often help you out. And then you can post to the class forums and try to get your answers. Remember to be specific with your questions. You can also post to forums outside of the class, the R mailing list or Stack Overflow if you have R questions. For data analysis or statistics types questions, uh, you might want to start again with the class forums and then go to the web or to friends. Um, and then there's another outside forum called cross-validated where you can ask these type of questions. For other software, you might have to go to software-specific websites. So for GitHub, they have a lot of uh, tutorials and nice information that you can use to get answers there. So an important point uh, to know uh, is that Googling data science questions isn't always the easiest thing in the world. So um, the best place to start if you have a pretty general question is often in the forums and then people can direct you to where you should be searching outside of the forums. Um, keep in mind that Stack Overflow with the tag uh, R is a really good place to get information about R. And so you have to um, use this tag because if you just use the letter R, it obviously is sometimes a little bit hard to search for. Um, you can also try the R mailing list for software questions or cross-validated for more general questions. Um, usually what I found is that if I'm going to work in Google uh, or search in Google, I usually type something like the data type and then data analysis, or uh, I type the data type and then the R package. I found that data type R package often works a little bit better than data type uh, data analysis when Googling things. Another thing to keep in mind is that uh, data analysis or data science is often called something different depending on what kind of data you're looking at. So for example, for medical data, it might be called biostatistics. For data from the web, it might be data science. Uh, for data and computer vision, it might be machine learning uh, or natural language processing for data from texts and so on. So knowing what the right word to Google is often half the battle. And so you can often find that out by posting to the forums and people will let you know what the right word to be Googling is. Again, the credits for this go to Roger's Getting Help video, and it was inspired by Eric Raymond's How to Ask Questions the Right Way.